Welcome to This Just In, a weekly news show highlighting the people and events in Newport News Public Schools, where teachers emphasize literacy and encourage students to develop a lifelong love of reading. <laughs> Families at Greenwood Elementary know that when life gives you lemons, it's time for reading and dancing to avoid a sticky situation. Greenwood's Family Fun Night did just that by offering an evening of literary fun with a mix of dance styles for all ages to enjoy. As part of Virginia Reads One Book, Greenwood is one of a handful of schools in Newport News reading The Lemonade War. So the theme of lemons was squeezed into several activities across the school. Families were treated to a cool glass of lemonade and fruity snacks in the foyer. Posted outside different classrooms, Lemonade wore trivia questions, challenged students on their literary knowledge. Inside each classroom, there were STEM-based lemon activities, and many classrooms offered various styles of dancing for the whole family, including Zumba, the Virginia Reel, line dancing, and Chinese ribbon dancing. Books on Bikes Newport News handed out free books in the library, and Youth Volunteer Corps Hampton Roads donated a brand new little free library to the school. And YVC student volunteers assisted Greenwood students with decorating their new library, which offers them a location to take or leave books as they wish. <laughs> One book, two book, red book, blue book. It's Read Across America, so let's take a look. At Riverside Elementary, it's truer than true. The students love reading, and their families do too. Read Across America was a week full of fun, honoring Dr. Seuss for all that he had done. With families invited to join in the fun, Riverside held a family literacy night with a little something for everyone. All across the school, there was so much to do and see. In the library, one could make a bookmark or listen to their teacher read. Either on a lap or in a nook, students were free to stop and simply read a book. And oh, the places you will go, walking around to win a new book for home. With beats, rhythm, and a rhyme or two, music makes reading fun and cool. With their favorite books as inspiration, students and teachers adorn their doors with literary decorations. And at the end of the week on a festive day, the students held a storybook character parade. Wizards, princesses, superheroes, and cats toured the halls, making classic stories and modern tales come alive for one and all. Hats off to the students of Riverside, full of merry and glee. Oh, how they love to read, read, read. Read Across America Week was the perfect time for sailors from the USS Abraham Lincoln to read to students. More than 130 sailors volunteered their time visiting 13 Newport News Elementary schools, including Greenwood, McIntosh, and Riverside. During their time at each school, the sailors read aloud to the students, with many selecting Dr. Seuss books in honor of the beloved author's birthday. After reading, the sailors talked about their careers on board an aircraft carrier. They fielded questions from the attentive students about traveling the world, what they enjoy about the Navy, and what they do with their free time aboard the floating city at sea. Through their community service initiative, Lincoln sailors are helping to build literacy skills while also offering insights to possible career pathways for our elementary students. <laughs> Sanford Elementary and community partners held a fun evening for students and families. The festivities combined the best of fiction and nonfiction worlds, adding literacy components to STEM activities. Literacy and STEM Night was organized by reading specialist Barbara Brinker with help from family and community engagement specialist, Valerie Wolf. Since the entire school was reading the Virginia Reads One Book selection, The Lemonade Wars, students and their families found themselves surrounded by lemon-themed activities. Fractions were needed in helping with the sticky situation of creating a recipe for lemonade, as well as a formula for lemonade Play-Doh. 
Virginia Educators Credit Union presented a real-life math lesson in computing the cost of opening a lemonade stand. And continuing with that idea, one classroom challenged families to use limited supplies in building a lemonade stand strong enough to support one lemon. In other classrooms, science came into play when families attempted to add pennies to the top of a floating lemon. Fruits and vegetables were hooked to laptops to serve as musical keys for playing a scientific concert. An entertaining school internet show, The After School Show, streamed live on YouTube with Sanford attendees serving as audience members. And as always, students received free books, along with the fun and encouragement offered by local community partners. <laughs> Here's an opportunity for you to enjoy lunch and entertainment while learning about after-school and summer programs, college applications, and career readiness. It's the Newport News Public Schools Family Forum and Resource Fair, and it's free for NNPS families. The event takes place on Saturday, March 24th, from noon to 2 p.m. at Greater Hampton Roads Boys and Girls Club on Hampton Avenue in Newport News. <laughs> Friday, March 30th, is a regular instructional day for students. Originally, it was scheduled as a half day, but now it's a full day of school in order to make up for missed instructional time because of snow days. Thanks for joining us for this week's edition of This Just In. And check out more fun and informative videos at nnpstv.com to see the many great things happening in Newport News Public Schools. Thanks for watching.